I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 12 in Hamburg, Germany, and I'm here with Elena from T Platforms. So, Elena, let's start at the beginning. Who is T Platforms and who do you help? Well, T Platforms is what we uh, call 360 degree HPC company. Uh, we have started in 2002 and we've been focusing on HPC only since that. Uh, from uh, the time of foundation we have uh, developed a rather extensive portfolio of products and services which is very important for Russia as uh, an emerging market. Uh, so, well, to give you just a, a brief uh, understanding of what we are in Russia, well, it, it is no surprise that we don't really face a lot of competition from Russian companies, although we do compete with Intel, with, uh, sorry, sorry, with IBM and uh, HP there. Uh, but still, uh, we, were, we succeeded in building the largest systems in Russia and CIS uh, several times, or six times actually. And we have six installations at top 500. I mean, not in the current list, but through its history from 2003 and up to uh, now. Uh, so our largest installation is Lomonosov Moscow State University. It's 1.7 petaflop in peak performance, but since it's a hybrid system with NVIDIA and a lot of NVIDIA, uh, we have uh, around uh, around a petaflop of lean pack performance and. Uh, it's now the largest system in, in Russia. Uh, just to give you the idea of uh, how the company feels in the emerging market like Yeah, Russia. yeah, what are the challenges there, you know, yeah. for, for a market that is, is still, you know, it's still in its infancy stages, right? What are the challenges for you as a company? Well, actually, this is a market which you cannot capture and this is a market where you cannot position yourself because the market is emerging. You can hardly capture an emerging market. And uh, the mission of uh, the, the only or the largest uh, homegrown HPC company in uh, markets like Russia is basically creating the market and uh, realizing, bringing to reality the demand for uh, HPC, which is only uh, a potential for customers. Because uh, before customers start to use it, or before they start to hear a lot of that, uh, they don't realize what HPC technology can bring them. So uh, it is, uh, of course, we do have sites like Lomonosov Moscow State University who, who are pretty educated, very well educated, in fact, in HPC. Uh, but still, the, even the uh, most educated customers require slightly more than, uh, let's say, uh, similar sites in Europe. Uh, it's it's uh, basically a common thing in Europe to uh, build, let's say, infrastructure data center themselves using other companies than uh, an HPC vendor, when the vendor provides just the computing equipment. This is not the approach which can be successful in Russia, because in Russia we have to build everything up from, from a bare floor and, and walls, uh, even starting with uh, reinforcing the floors, you know, to stand the weight of the equipment, and up to everything, including cooling, uh, power, everything. The barrier and the most uh, prominent barrier, uh, to my mind, is just the lack of expertise, lack of knowledge uh, at the customer side of how to use it and, and why, basically, why they should start. Because it, evol it involves uh, costs for a customer, not just buying the machine, but also having specialists. And in Russia, specialists, ready specialists for HPC applications are probably impossible to find. Right, because there are teams, of course, that do uh, codes. Uh, but uh, you know, just if you're a customer, let's say a shipbuilder, and you have to find specialists in, in CFD and uh, CAE uh, in general, you will have difficulty to find specialists who do uh, anything above CAD, you know, uh, on, on a workstation. And these are rare as well. And uh, so you either have to teach them somehow, sending them to MSU, or you have, which is, which is also cost-involving uh, and, and uh, not very convenient, 
or uh, you know as a vendor we have chosen another path because we have to grow the demand and we have to grow uh, customer uh, customer not even awareness but uh, actually enable them to use these technologies and so we have to invent a lot of mechanisms like eventually we have started doing applications ourselves this is pretty uh, pretty much um, un in uncommon if I may say so among vendors but this is the the approach which allows us to grow the market because our customers learn how to use HPC and they eventually grow and their tasks grow and they start buying machines yeah. so what we do uh, what we uh, F just for instance, one of the mechanisms that we have created was an enablement, uh, HPC enablement program. Uh, the idea was to, uh, to actually have um, a contest between customers and to uh, finance uh, at least uh, some part of the services done and actually uh, perform simulations for them. Uh, you could have customers coming from with with nothing but uh, you know paperwork, not even with with a CAD model, uh, uh, but with uh, an idea to improve their product, and uh, you could just uh, uh, create a dig digital model for them from the start and perform a simulation using HPC and show them the results and how they could improve their product. Yeah. So funny they published this kind of book it is in russian but we have an english version although i will not give my hand for the okay. course of translation yeah. <laughs> yeah. because it's a difficult subject but, yeah. um, so it uh, it's it's like this you on each page uh, you have uh, a description of the simulation that was done and the results the company received and the economy they received and why that they thought it was important for the, for the product development and some pictures showing what the simulation uh, really looked like when it was That done. looks like it's a like great a tool for potential companies that had never even thought about HPC could Absolutely. because it talks about their terms you know where we're not computing specialists yes. we make we make fan blades yes. or the good thing is that we don't talk to them from the point of view of this and that hardware and why this and that hardware software is, is better. We, we just try to solve their problems and their problems are applications and this is where we start speaking with our customers and this is a, a better approach, especially for emerging markets like yeah. Russia. Yeah. Well, great.